From intelligence reports and the information gathered by air reconnaissance operations, pilots and air mobile officers are briefed on the mission which lies ahead. From day to day, Helleborn missions vary so much that these briefings must be extremely accurate. Ground commanders are also given the latest information on the operation. The operation begins when the infantry soldiers load aboard the assault Hueys to fly to the strike objective. The air mobile team concept is designed with the idea that the airborne soldier must ultimately fight on foot. Every effort is made to keep small units together on the same aircraft. A combat company's mortars and machine guns are divided among several aircraft, however, so that the loss of one or two helicopters would not knock out all the company's heavy weapons. Troops are seated in each attack helicopter so that the first man off will be an automatic weapons man. If necessary, he will provide a heavy volume of fire to cover the offloading of the rest of his squad. The aerial deployment of assault troops may call for some modification of normal leadership tactics. On the ground, the company commander will be up forward. However, in the air like this, the command and control ship may well be the last one in formation. This gives the troop commander a clear view of his entire unit and allows him to break out of formation without disrupting it. 